Good morning, first grade friends. We have a new letter from Eddie the entomologist, and so let's see if you can guess what insect we're going to be studying today. It says, Dear EITs, I hope nobody got stung. I promise you that this next insect doesn't breathe fire despite of its name. So here's our clues. Are you ready? Clue one. This insect has a skinny abdomen. Clue two. This insect has huge eyes. And clue three, this insect can fly backwards. Hmm. So let's look at those clues again. It has a skinny abdomen, huge eyes, can fly backwards. And then there was a clue actually in the beginning. It says, it doesn't breathe fire despite its name. Can you guess what it is? Your friend Love Eddie. So let's see if you can get it. Oh, it's an insect that has four wings, very delicate wings. You can see that long, skinny abdomen. You can see it resting on um, a branch. Can you tell me what insect it is? That's right, it is the dragonfly. That's why it said its name makes you think that it can breathe fire. So today we're going to read a nonfiction book about dragonflies. So remember, as we're reading the story, I want you to think about some interesting facts about it so that you can jot them down in your insect journal. All right, so the title of our nonfiction book today is called A Dragonfly's Life. And it's part of a group of books, Animal Diaries Life Cycles, because it's going to tell us about the life cycle of a dragonfly. And this is written by Ellen Lawrence, but then she also down here says there's consultant. These are people that helped her with some of the information, and those are people at the um, curators at the Milwaukee Public Museum and then the National Institute for Early Education Research. Okay, so in our journal it says, Joseph, date June 1st, watching dragonflies. So this is going to start like a journal. Today I watched dragonflies at the lake near my grandpa's house. Dragonflies are insects, colorful flying insects with four wings. It's spring and the dragonflies are mating. So if you look, you can see it's got the head. It's got a little bit thicker thorax and then this really long abdomen. You can see those four wings. This dragonfly is life size. Use a ruler to measure its length. How long is a dragonfly from its head to the end of its body? How long are its wings? And a dragonfly is about two inches long, and then about two and a half inches are when you look at the wingspan. Over here, it's labeling some other parts. You can see that it said it has huge eyes. Look at these two huge eyes, one on either side of the dragonfly. You can see it's six legs. We have two, four, six. It's got that long, skinny abdomen, and then you can see two pairs of wings. It says there are about 5,500 different kinds of dragonflies in the world. Their bodies can be colors such as emerald green, ruby red, or shiny blue. So they can be really those bright colors. Okay, so June 2nd, this is day two. Dragonfly eggs. Grandpa says that after mating, some kinds of female dragonflies lay their eggs in water. So look, she's actually laying them under the water. Others lay their eggs on plants near lakes and ponds. Today, I saw a female dragonfly laying her eggs at the lake. She held onto a leaf of a water plant. Then she dipped the tip of her body into the eggs and let the, into the water and let the eggs come out. It says a female dragonfly lays hundreds of eggs at a time. Then she flies away. She does not take care of the eggs or her young. So once she lays the egg, she's done. June 16th, so this is about two weeks later, time to hatch. Grandpa says that dragonfly eggs usually hatch in one to three weeks. The baby dragonflies are called nymphs. Nymphs must live in water because unlike adult dragonflies, nymph can only breathe underwater. They breathe using body parts called, called gills. So dragonflies are really unique because when they're born, they breathe underwater just like um, a frog. And then later on, they can breathe outside of water and breathe the, um, air and oxygen. Okay, so 
These are the dragonfly eggs. Imagine you are telling a friend about dragonfly eggs. What word would you use to describe them? We can talk about their shape. That's an attribute. So they're kind of oval. What else? You can talk about their color, that brown color. And so this is actually a picture of a newly hatched nymph. And so look, it does not look anything like the dragonfly when it's an adult. Some nymphs hatch from eggs that are laid on plants near ponds or lakes. These nymphs must quickly crawl into the nearest water so that they can breathe. So even if they're laid on that, on top, of the water on some of those plants, they have to get to the water quick so that they can breathe. June 30th, all about nymphs. Today we spotted a small young dragonfly nymph in the lake. It had six legs like an adult dragonfly, but no wings. The nymph also has a hard covering called an exoskeleton. Remember, most of our insects have that exoskeleton. As the insect grows, its exoskeleton gets too small. So the nymph breaks out of it and there's a new bigger one underneath. We call that molting. Then the insect gro body grows some more. So here's our young dragonfly nymph. Here's its exoskeleton. Look, it still has those big eyes, but its body looks very different. When a nymph breaks out of its exoskeleton, it is said to be molting. A nymph may molt up to 17 times before it's an adult dragonfly, a growing nymph. This afternoon, we saw a large brown dragonfly near the lake. Grandpa said the nymph was probably one or two years old, so it takes a couple years. It had a long body, and it had grown four small wing cases on its back. Its wings are growing inside these cases. Soon, the nymph will leave the water to become an adult dragonfly. A nymph's brown body makes it difficult to see among the greenish brown water plants. This helps the young insects stay safe from bigger insects and fish that want to eat it. So that brown coloring helps it hide. So do you remember what that vocabulary word is for that? Camouflage, very good. Okay, a nymph's color helps it hide from its enemies. In what other way do you think a nymph's color might help it? It can hide from its enemies, but it also can hide so it can find food. So look, this is, it says a two-year-old nymph. So he's still not a dragonfly yet. All right, let's see. A nymph goes hunting. Wow, this morning I saw a large brown nymph catch a baby frog called a tadpole. The nymph's color makes it hard to see among the water plants. The animals it hunts don't know it's there. As the tadpole swam by, the nymph's long grabbing mouth part shot out and caught it. The little tadpole didn't stand a chance. So here's that grabbing mouth part. Dragonfly nymphs eat other young insects as well as shrimp, tadpoles, worms, water snails, and small fish. An amazing day, July 30th. Today we saw the dragonfly nymph leave the water and climb up on a plant. Inside its exoskeleton, the nymph had changed into a dragonfly. Its body had become much longer and it had grown four wings. As the insect clung to the plant, its head burst from the brown exoskeleton. Then it pulled its bodies out. After an hour, the dragonfly used its wings to fly. So you can see the exoskeleton, see he's trying to get out of it. He's peeling himself all the way out and then he finally gets those wings out. The nymph part of the dragon's life can last for just a few months or about two years. Sometimes a dragonfly may live as a nymph for up to six years, so it just depends on what type of dragonfly it is. A dragonfly goes hunting. A dragonfly was hunting close to the lake this morning. Dragonflies eat insects such as flies, moths, mosquitoes, and flying ants. Their huge eyes are able to quickly see the movement of another insect. Their wings help them fly fast so that they can catch up to their victims. Then they grab their meals with their legs. Once a dragonfly has become an adult, it breathes air through holes in its body. So here's the dragonfly hunting a mosquito. A dragonfly's life. It has been two months since I saw the nymph become a beautiful dragonfly. Grandpa says that the adult part of a dragonfly's life is very short. It may live for only six to eight weeks. So remember, it takes a long time for it to turn into that adult, and then it doesn't live very long. In that time, though, the dragonfly will have mated 
which is great news. It means that there will be more colorful dragonflies to watch at the lake in the future. Dragonflies can fly more than 30 hour, miles per hour. They can fly forwards and backwards and even hover in the air like helicopters. A dragonfly's flying skills help it avoid being eaten by birds. So they're such good flyers that it keeps them from getting eaten by predators. And so here's that flying dragonfly. All right, and then these are some of the science words or um, vocabulary words that you heard. The exoskeleton, remember, is that hard covering that protects an insect's body because remember, it doesn't have a spine or a backbone like us. Gills, remember, gills are the body parts that help um, the dragonfly in this book, but also when we have tadpoles, breathe, and then also fish breathe underwater. And then hatch means to break out of an egg. Insects are small animals that have, remember, six legs, two antennas, a hard covering called an exoskeleton, and those three body parts. The nymphs are the young of some insects such as dragonflies or grasshoppers. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what you're gonna do in your insect journal for dragonflies today. All right, so this is what your insect journal page is gonna look like today, and so you can see the dragonfly. And then if you look, it's pointing to these the same part right here which is antenna so you're going to write antenna and then this part is pointing to that part under its head but before its abdomen that chest part so what do we call that the head the thorax very good and then this point part is pointing to that bottom part which is the head thorax abdomen very good all right, so you'll fill in the body parts at the top, and then you're going to think of three interesting facts that you learned about dragonflies. And we're going to write them down. Remember, we're going to practice our writing there, okay? All right, you guys did an awesome job. Thank you.